Hello students, this is Dr. Manda Mori and today we are discuss a few questions from subject Indian system of medicine which is a MPharm of Pognosi subject from Mumbai University. The MPharm syllabus is PCI oriented syllabus and it is divided in 5 units. Unit 1 Fundamental Concepts of Ayurveda, Siddha, Unani and Homopathic System. Unit 2 Naturopathy, Yoga and Aromatherapy Practices. Unit 3 Its Formulation Development of Various Systems of Medicine. Unit 4 System of Food Manufacturing Practices in ISM. Unit 5 The Government Act and Bills for Enforcement of IU. Today we are going to discuss few questions from Unit 4 that is Schedule T Good Manufacturing Practices. These are the few important questions from Unit 4. First, explain the provisions of infrastructural requirement, machinery and equipment as per Schedule T. Second, what are the objectives of GMP that is Schedule T? And third, what is standard operating procedure give importance of SOP in GMP of ASU? Entire topic is related to the guidelines for inspection of GMP compliance by Ayurveda, Siddha and Unani drug industry which are formulated by Department of Ayush, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, New Delhi in 2013. Question 1. Explain the provisions of infrastructural requirement, machinery and equipment as per Schedule T. The GMP for ASU drugs as described in Rule 157 of Drugs and Cosmetics Rule 1945, they are as follow. 1. Raw material used in the manufacture of drugs are authentic. 2. The manufacturing process is as per the standards. 3. Adequate quality control measures are adopted. 4. The manufactured drug is of acceptable quality. 5. Ensure an achievement of the objectives listed above. Now, in infrastructural requirement, the factory premises are also mentioned as per the GMP guideline. The manufacturing plant should be have adequate space. They should have relieving and storing raw material. Then manufacturing process area, quality control section, finished good store, office, and finally rejected good or drug store. Other infrastructural requirements they include local location and surroundings, then buildings. It shall be located so as to be compatible with other manufacturing operations, adequately provided with the working space, designed, constructed and maintained to prevent entry of sex and rodent provided with the proper drainage system furnaces or butty section could be covered with tin roof and proper ventilation fire safety measures and proper exhaust should be there and finally drying space separate space for drying of raw material in process materials and finished product should be there then water supply the water used in manufacture shall be pure and of portable quality. Disposal of waste should be as per the guidelines of Pollution Control Authority. Containers cleaning, there will be arrangement separate for manufacturing containers and then their washing, cleaning and drying such containers. Walking space, the manufacturing area shall provide adequate space, health, clothing, sanitation, and hygiene of worker is at the most priority. Medical services, the adequate facility for first aid should be provided to the all the workers and medical examination of workers should be there after justified period of time. Machinery and equipments. These may include machines for use in process of manufacture such as crushing, grinding, powdering, boiling, smashing, burning, roasting, filtering, drying, filling, labeling and packing etc. To ensure ease in movement of workers and orderliness in operations 
a suitably adequate space will be ensured between two machines or rows of machines these machines and equipment should be as per recommended in part 2 of this guideline proper standards operation procedures that is sops for cleaning maintaining and performance of every machine should be laid down now we'll see the list of recommended machines equipment and minimum manufacturing premises required for manufacture of various categories of ayurvedic siddha system of medicine the following table it divide in three columns first is category of medicine second is minimum requirement of space and third is machinery or equipment recommended for general so basically 1200 square feet covered area with separate cabins or partitions for each activity is required if unani medicine are manufactured in the same premises an additional area of 400 square feet will be required now we will see one by one of uh, formulation then their space requirement and recommended machine one churna or nasya or quat or lepa etc space 200 square feet equipment grinder or disintegrator or pulverizer powder mixer sieves shifter etc two pills or vati or gutika or tablet etc space required 100 square feet machinery required ball mill mass mixer or powder mixer granulator tablet compressing machine pill cutting machine stainless steel trays polishing pan tablet coating plan etc 3 capsules space required 100 square feet equipment required air condition humidifier hygrometer thermometer capsule filling machine balance etc four ointment marham etc space required 100 square meter recommended equipment tube filling machine crimping machine ointment mixer end runner mill etc five asava and arista space required 200 square meter recommended equipment same as mentioned above apart from that fermentation tank containers and distillation plant where necessary filters and press are equipped six tail space required 100 square meter recommended equipment bhatti kadai industrial storage containers filtration equipment filling tanks liquid filling machines etc all of this will have a basic needs such as each manufacturing unit will have a separate area for bhatti or furnace or boiler this will have proper ventilation removal of smoke prevention of flies insect dust etc and the furnace section could have a clean room now we'll see the list of machinery which are used for the unani system of medicine the general requirement for space is the same as ayurvedic and siddha siddha system that is 1200 square feet covered area with separate cabins partitions for each activity if ayurveda siddha machineries are also in the same premises then 400 square feet will be required separately now we'll see the medicine category then minimum space required and recommended equipment in a three separate column in first column the medicines category one tiriya or majun or lak or jawarish khamiras minimum required area is 100 square feet recommended machines grinder pulverizer sieves powder mixer stainless steel pressers then plant mixer for khamiras 
एक्सेट्रा टू अर्क का स्पेस रिक्वायर्ड हंड्रेड स्क्वेयर फीट डिस्टिलेशन प्लांट एंड स्टोरेज स्टेनलेस स्टील टैंक बॉइलिंग वेसल ग्रेविटी पिलर वॉटर फिलिंग मशीन ऑल दिस आर रिकमेंडेड इक्विपमेंट थ्री हब ऑल्सो नो एज अ फेस और टैबलेट स्पेस रिक्वायर्ड हंड्रेड स्क्वेयर फीट रिकमेंडेड इक्विपमेंट बॉल मिल मास मिक्सर पाउडर मिक्सर जेनरेटर टैबलेट कंप्रेसिंग यूनिट स्टील ट्रे एक्सेट्रा कुस्ट स्पेस रिक्वायर्ड हंड्रेड स्क्वेयर फीट रिकमेंडेड इक्विपमेंट भट्टी खरल सील बट्टा अर्दन पॉट एक्सेट्रा मुराबा स्पेस रिक्वायर्ड हंड्रेड स्क्वेयर फीट रिकमेंडेड इक्विपमेंट एल्यूमिनियम वेसल फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड के जी कैपेसिटी एंड भट्टी कैप्सूल स्पेस रिक्वायर्ड हंड्रेड स्क्वेयर फीट रिकमेंडेड इक्विपमेंट पल्वराइजर पाउडर मिक्सर कैप्सूल फिलिंग मशीन एयर कंडीशनर डिम्यूडिफायर बैलेंस एक्सेट्रा शरबत एंड लोशंदा हंड्रेड स्क्वेयर फीट स्पेस रिक्वायर एंड रिकमेंडेड डोज सॉरी रिकमेंडेड इक्विपमेंट्स पिंचर प्रेस एग्जॉस्ट फैन भट्टी वॉटर वॉशिंग मशीन फिल्टर प्रेस ग्रेविटी प्रेस लिक्विड फिलिंग टैंक एक्सेट्रा आई ड्रॉप्स एंड ऑयल ऑर्नमेंट हंड्रेड स्क्वेयर फीट इज रिक्वायर्ड a space and equipments recommended hot air oven electrically heated with thermostatic control kettle etc these are a few equipments which are recommended for in house quality control these are the basic instrument required in quality control so friends today we have seen the answer for the question requirement for ism as per the gmt guidelines and schedule 3 thank you thank you